Hey guys, in the last episode, we taught you a great way to make some simple wine, but there's a lot more you can do with alcohol in a survival setting. So today, JV here is gonna help us go through a few ways that your drunkenness can save your butt in the zombie apocalypse. JV? Five, wounds. They can sanitize wounds you see in the movies all the time. You get bit, you just pour some alcohol on it, put a bandage on it, you're good to go. And that's not all you can clean with alcohol. You can also clean your drinking water. Just add a shot to a liter or two of your water, let it sit for about a half an hour, and bam, kills all the bacteria. Add some more, you won't even care if you've got Giardia. Three, fire. It's great for starting fires. You get some sticks, you soak them in alcohol, and then you want to light it up, put a match to it. Poof, fire. Number two ups the ante a little bit. Molotov cocktails. If you've got some good high proof booze, a full bottle of that is easily turned into a zombie bomb. Just slide a booze soaked rag halfway down the neck of the bottle, like that sucker and throw it, he'll be good. It's too bad that burnt zombie tastes like home fried cat butt. Right, well, all that brings us to our number one use of alcohol in the zombie apocalypse. Getting drunk. Thank you, JV. And thank you all for dropping by while we explain some of the uses for alcohol in the zombie apocalypse.